What's up, y'all? Gangsters back in the building. I got new attire. I got my sword. And we rocking today, man. Today was um, a very interesting day. Today was my first day on the job as an electrician apprentice. And so this is the start of a new journey. And a favorite quote by one of my favorite philosophers, uh, Mace Philosopher. He once said, every journey begins with the first step and every journey ends in a new direction. And so I took a first step in a new direction. So we're, we ended one journey in life and we're on to the next one. And that's the beauty of the fucking game of life. It just keeps on rolling, man. You make decisions, you go about the decisions, and you just keep on rocking. And so my first day... What I kind of fucking picked up on is, um, just don't be a fucking idiot and come to work. Like, honestly, I was getting bored because I'm like, there's not enough shit for me to do. Give me more things to do. Like, speed it up, motherfucker. You guys are taking too long. I'm trying to level up. Like, I learned how to bend pipe today. I learned what a switch box was, kill switches. I saw a lot of shit. I got to sit down and observe Really think I'm gonna start bringing a notebook out in that motherfucker, so I can start drawing the shit that I see, so I can really start to recollect. Cause you're not allowed to use your phones, but I'm gonna get around that guy. I have this handy dandy watch, so I'll still be able to do business. Like motherfucker, you gonna tell me I can't use my phone, nigga? I'm not trying to use my phone to fucking look on bitches, nigga. I'm trying to get money, nigga. Fuck you playing with? But it's okay. It's part of the game. You live and you learn. You don't get mad about it. You just fucking all right, whatever. Can't use my phone. I figure out a way to get around that. And, um, yeah, man, it was just cool. I talked to a master electrician, and I saw what he did to his day-to-day. And it's just, you kind of chilling, man. Uh, like, you make a grip load of money, and the money really doesn't make a difference to me. I'm looking at more like the skill set. Like, my goal is to eventually be able to run, like, just be my brain and go on to projects and essentially map out the projects and teach all the dummies how to do shit. So I'm about to sacrifice some time, put the effort in, get good. And like, I'm not going out unless it's like a major job or some shit. Like, I'm not going to just be working just to work. Like, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm a little different cut, nigga. My goal, my plan is fucking grind these next four to five years. Get all the skill sets. And that way... I can really start to make my own dough because then I'm just going to be all knowing. I'm going to know how to do shit. I'm going to be a human being that understands cybersecurity, networking, and electricity. That's a fucking lethal connection, nigga. And then once I learn electrical engineering, I'll take some gay classes, get that shit down. I don't think it'll even be that difficult. So by 40, I'm a fucking just a killer. <laughs> I can get you electricity, cybersecurity. Network, whatever you want to fucking do, I'm here to get you. And I can start installing fucking entertainment centers, TVs. I'm a lethal ass nigga, man. People don't understand. And so I was just really happy about life because it's like I'm looking at life and I'm just like, wow. Here I am, man. Like, I got the game. The game is here. There's nobody that can stop me except for myself. I might have to starve a little bit. But even then, I'm not going to really starve. Like, I got opportunities. Like, my old job... Where I help with like the kids and the youth and shit. Like I'm still over there. And they're happy to have me for the little kid of time that they get me. And like I'm happy to be there because it's like okay if I don't get a job mounting TVs or doing furniture or some shit. I'll just go kick it there. <laughs> so it's like you're getting money from all different angles. And it's just nice to know that like I can take care of me. Because that's the first step of life. Is being able to take care of yourself. Once you can take care of yourself. Then you could take care of everybody else around you. But you got to take care of yourself first. And most people don't want to get rid of step one. They want to try to get people to help take care of them. Which is no, 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 no. That's a no-no. Big no-no. Let me tell you that right now, people. The fastest way to be a loser in life is to get people to help take care of you. If you're not sick or decrepit or something like that, bro. If you're a full able-bodied nigga, get out there and go figure it out and grind, my guy. And here's another thing I started to realize, too. That uh, in life, 
like, how can I put it? I don't have expectations of anything happy. Like, I expect suffering. I expect bad things. I expect hardship. I expect being uncomfortable. I expect things to not be good. And because I expect things to not be good, I expect myself to be uncomfortable. I expect hardship and I expect suffering. I'm always content with life. Like, I'm always just happy. I'm just not even happy. I'm just in a Zen state. Because of the thing. If you go into everything expecting things to be hard and difficult. Very readily or very rarely does something exceed the difficulty by which you imagine it to be. Now, let me rephrase that again. When you are always thinking like something like hard, like say you have to go run fucking five miles. Your mind is going to process five miles as like this. Oh, no. Oh, five miles. It's going to be so hard and it's going to hurt and all this other shit. And here's the thing. The reality of the situation, if you go out there and run the five miles, is actually not that bad. Your mind creates a far more... Uh, what's the word? Your mind creates a way more damaging or like scary image of said challenge as opposed to you really going to go do it. Another great example would be like you getting a shot. Like in your mind, you're like, oh my God, I'm getting a shot. You flinch. You're like, uh. And then when you get poked, it's like, poke. You're like, what? That, that was nothing. But in your mind, you had this image. And that's one of the things I really learned. Like when I used to give plasma when I was broke as shit and I didn't have any money. And I had to give like plasma to try to fucking make money to make my rent money. I used to have a fear of needles. And now my fear of needles is completely gone because after you do it so many times, you begin to understand like it's nothing. It's just a needle pokes in and it comes out. Makes no difference. Same thing with like school. Like I thought, oh my God, biology, physics, calculus, all these fucking classes are so difficult. Now I get in the class, I'm taking the class and I'm realizing it's just not that hard. I mean, you got to study more, you got to pay attention, but shit, you got to study and pay attention to any class. Like it's not overly difficult. It's not some impossible shit you can't do. You just got to put time and effort into it. <laughs> and that's what I got to realize with this. It's like being an electrician is not fucking difficult. You got to put the time and effort and do it. Go out there and fucking do it every day. <laughs> and eventually you're going to be good. See, a lot of people, they, they do shit for a paycheck. And that's a fucking real travesty. Don't do shit for a paycheck. When you do shit for a paycheck, what you're going to get out of it is a fucking paycheck. And that's all you'll get out of it is, is a fucking paycheck. But when you do something for the love of the actual thing that you're doing, that is what brings happiness. That's what brings joy. That's what brings enlightenment. Because now you are doing it for the love of the game. And the money and everything else is just a byproduct. Like I saw a young man today. He, he got it. He said, I want to go work at a, a construction yard so I can learn my way about tools. He's like, fuck the money. I just want the knowledge. And that's what you got to start realizing, man. There was a time in humans lived before fucking uh, the dollar. Or coins and shit. Like, there was a time where humans lived just out there and had to go get food and make shelter for themselves. So, what do you think motivated humans? It wasn't a fucking dollar, nigga. It was fucking the game. <laughs> they liked the game, man. And that's what you guys start to fall in love with. Fall in love with the fucking game. This shit sounds so much more ridiculous because I have this dope ass headband. Shout out to Jariah. But, like, I noticed this with my training. Like, I got on my board all these different workouts. And what I fell in love with is just doing it. Like the game of doing it. I don't even care about the results anymore. Like I go out and run because I enjoy the run. Like the byproduct is I look good, but I don't give a fuck about looking good anymore. It's like I've been look good. It's not even the best I ever looked. But I'm enjoying the game of training. It's fun to me. I've gamified it. I see steady progress every week and I keep building, 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 building. And each week... It gets a little bit more difficult, but that difficulty is not as bad as it once was beforehand. And that's what the game is about, man. That's what you guys start appreciating. That's what I appreciate about rolling with this, um, my first day as an electrician. 
And like I get to go work tomorrow at uh, Austin FC. So that stadium uh, in Austin, I'm going to be out there fucking doing electricity shit. And that's fucking amazing. I'm going to be at a fucking stadium <laughs> doing electricity. Like how many people get to say they did that? And this is the life I get to live because I decided one day I'm not going to be a piece of shit and just try to make ends meet. I'm going to actually do something with my life. And if I got to sacrifice a little bit right now, fuck it. I'll sacrifice. What else am I doing? I don't got kids. I don't have a wife. I don't even have any prospects. I don't even have a fucking woman in my life. I don't have anybody. I just got myself. So I fell in love with the game of being by myself. And see, once you start to fall in love with yourself and bettering yourself, the sky's the limit because you realize I got forever to play this game. I ain't dying anytime soon. So, shit. We're just going to play. And you can play the best game you can play. And then I also think that I've noticed, too, is like it has regimented my schedule. Like this morning. This morning. I went to bed last night around fucking 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. I woke up at 4.45. Like, poof. Woke up, looked around. No alarm, no fucking anything. Just looked around. I was like, okay, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Did I miss my alarm? I looked down at the clock. That shit says 4.45. I'm like, what the fuck? 4.45? I tried to lay back in bed. I was like, nigga, I'm not going back to bed. I'm up now. And so from 4.45 to fucking like 7.20, because I had to be at work at 8. I was just grinding, man. I worked out, did a run, made some fucking videos, wrote, draw, played chess, played piano. Just did basic shit to do maintenance for myself. I was like, oh, I can get used to this. And not even now. I'm about to go to bed pretty soon. Hit the bed at like 9.30, 9.45. Wake up same time, 4 o'clock, ready to fucking go. Like a drill sergeant. Because I fell in love with the game, man. And that's the thing you guys got to understand, man. The game is always, 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 always going to help you play. The game is always going to reveal itself to you the more you play. But you got to go to new levels. You got to put the time in to play the new levels. And it costs time. That's the game. That's the that's really the true game. The true game is how to manage your time. Nothing more, nothing less. Everything else is bullshit. Anybody tell you it's about money, bitches, cars? No, nigga. They lying to you. The game is about how to manage your fucking time. What to do with your time to get you a better outcome with your time for the next diet. You just keep figuring that shit out. It just keeps rolling over. Okay, I invested my time in my body. And now my body is better. So now I can do more shit. And that's another thing too I realized. Thank God I've been training like a savage the last fucking like five, six months. Because man, I'm about to run these young niggas out the water. Nobody's fucking with me. I'm coming in here like a fucking... Oh my God. I can't wait for tomorrow. Anyway, bless the luck to everybody. God bless you. And uh, have a good night.